So next up is truthy and falsy. Probably the hardest, one of the hardest things to grasp in JavaScript um, is how these interact with the different types. Um, because when you throw like an object inside of there and compare it to another object, like what is really happening behind the scenes? Or you have, uh, you just throw an object in there and it's empty. Is it going to be true or false? If you throw an array in there, what is it? Like, um, this is where falsy and truthy get really weird. Um, um, so you can have, uh, basically anything that is falsy is zero and empty string. Uh, notice how they didn't include template strings. It does include template strings. This is incorrect. So empty strings like that, that, or template strings. I want to make that very clear. Null, which there is no value at all. Um, undefined, which is when it does not even have a value. And then not a number is also falsy. Um, there are other things that are falsy. So you can look up what are all the falsy values in JavaScript. Let's see what is in here. So, yeah, we've learned all of those. Okay. Um, an empty array, I'm pretty sure, is falsy. An empty object, I'm pretty sure, is falsy. Um, oh, no. Interesting. Those are true. Huh. Interesting. So yeah, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. I don't really do this very often. Um, generally, it's just a good idea to make sure that it's not just a, um, yeah, it, it, it's just a good idea to make sure that uh, you don't do a lot of type coercion. Otherwise, it can get very confusing very quickly because I just went into a thing thinking that objects were falsy, but they're not um, if they're empty. But um, you get to weird type coercion. I'll explain that in a second. So, um, all right. T um, actually, type coercion is basically you're taking some type and you're trying to convert it into another type. Um, so I'm just going to go through... Uh, console.log, um, I'm just going to say const log equals console, console.log, um, just so I can log, um, I'm just going to say L, just to make it easier, L, um, zero equals equals zero, okay, great, then we're going to L, um, uh, zero equals equals array, an empty array. Then we're going to log zero um, that equals equals empty array. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to, this is going to break something. But if I run those, it's going to be true, true, and false. So this is where JavaScript is weird. It is doing type coercion. This blank, uh, this, this string that is zero um, is saying it is equal to it. This empty array is equal to zero, but the string of zero is not equal to the empty array. Okay? And this is why I was a little bit confused. Because an empty array is equal to zero, and if you do log uh, not not zero, which is just a way to convert um, the value, whatever value is, into its respective boolean, either truthy or falsy, um, notice how not dot zero is false. But l not not array is true not not even though these are technically equal their respective falsy or truthy values are not equal this is where javascript gets really freaking confusing um so be careful enter at your own risk this is why a lot of people do not like javascript is because this this sucks so Big can of worms, as I was saying before. Truthy and falsy. So let's get into what this is. So that that's where type coercion meets truthy and falsy. So anyway, um, yada, 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 yada. Okay. So change the values of word count so that it is truthy. Word count, um, I could say negative one and it would be truthy. Okay. Anything that is not zero or NAN, any number that is not zero or NAN is truthy. 
That's it. Infinity is truthy. 0.000001 is truthy. All of those are truthy. Any negative value is truthy. Um, NAN, so if you do uh, NAN stands for not a number. And if you do type of NAN, it will equals equals string. It'll say, I'm sorry, whoops, number. It'll say NAN is a number. So not a number, type of not a number is a number. It's kind of funny, but it kind of makes sense. Um, because when you're dealing with the actual types, you want to have, um, some object that is supposed to represent a number, but it isn't technically, you want to have it still, uh, you want to make sure that it still has the prototype of a number, um, which we'll understand prototypes later on, but yeah, the, it gets a little bit weird. So anything that is not zero, any number that is not zero or NAN will be truthy. Okay, so change the so it as a string, but falsy. So any falsy string, or is that? That's it. That's the only falsy string that it exists. It's not even zero. Zero is truthy. Well, the string of zero is truthy, but the um the number zero is falsy. But string of zero uh converts uh or coerces into zero if you do type coercion. Again. This is where JavaScript gets very confusing. So um, I'm going to do that log thing, const l equals console.log, so you understand better. So l, 0 equals a string of 0. This will be true. l, um, string of 0. Uh, l, uh, so I'm going to log not 0, or not not 0, and then log not not string of 0. So you can understand um, that these two things are different. So notice how it says this is true. Okay. This string is equal to this string. Yep, that's true. This is turning into false. And this is turning into true. So how can, but if I do this, not, 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 now it's false. Shouldn't that be true? Shouldn't it? Doesn't it make sense for it to be true? Nope, because this is not a falsy uh, uh, string, but it, uh, the string itself convert coerts into a number zero. Welcome to JavaScript. Everything does not make any sense. Okay, or nothing makes any sense. I don't know. It's just confusing. So anyway, um, yeah, you do a single string. Um, you can also do a double quote or a template string. And notice how they did not say empty strings like single quote or double quote, it also must include a template string. Okay. That is a thing where, um, code Academy got wrong. They need to include that because this is also falsy. So if I do that, you can still see the string is definitely empty. Okay. So basically one thing you can also look at, um, think about with the strings, um, is do favorite phrase dot length. And so if the length is equal equal or not equal equal to zero, then it is definitely empty. Or sorry, if it is equal to zero, then it is definitely empty. If it's not equal to zero, then it is um, not empty. And that's basically what is happening when you think about the um, falsy or truthy value of strings is just if the length is equal to zero, it will be falsy. Okay, that's it. So, yep, truthy and falsy and fundamentals of type coercion and how JavaScript sucks. So, welcome to all of that, and I'll see you in the next video.